My name is Claudia Brown Coulter. I am a divorce mediator and I help you create a customized divorce that you can uncouple consciously and respectfully. So you might wonder why do people hire mediators? Let's just hire a lawyer. Let's just do it ourselves. Those are all valid. Totally cool. If that works for you, do it. But there are five main reasons why people hire a mediator. One is speed. I like to pride myself on speed. Let's not drag this thing out. If you can get your stuff done, we'll come to the meetings. Let's get this settled. Let's get this solved. We don't have to wait for the court calendar to open up so that we can have our day in court. Now, we still have to wait a little bit for the judge to sign it, but we can control the things that are in our control. We can't control the court, but if we can control how fast we work, that's better for you and you can have things settled and all you're doing is waiting for a signature. The second reason is it's more cost effective. It doesn't mean that it's cheap and, and, just because things are less expensive doesn't mean that they're less valuable. It's more cost effective. And you want to remember when you are divorcing, you are taking um, a one life and dividing it into two, you know, one house dividing it into two. So you're two people that have become one and now you're going your separate ways and your money is about to throw a fit because now what used to support one household has to support two. Uh, another reason why people choose to do mediation and why they hire mediators is because it's a more amical process. It doesn't mean that everything is rosy and that we never find things don't ever go wrong. No, that's you, listen, you wouldn't be getting a divorce if that was the situation. What it means is that the people who choose to mediate, they know that they can't solve all of the problems themselves but they want to, and they want to have a more friendly divorce and they want things to be amicable. And I want that for them too. Uh, the fourth reason is they get to stay in control of the process. They get to decide how fast or slow things move. Now, you know, if your sp spouse is stalling, okay, there's only so much you can have control over that, but it's kind of like it goes back into speed. Um, it's about, we're not waiting for a court calendar. You're waiting to see, okay, when do our schedules align along with the mediator schedule? And then we can get in. You're staying in control of the process. You're only talking about the things that are important to you and you are creating structures and agreements for your life apart that suit you. It's not cookie cutter. And you get to stay in control of that non cookie cutter process. And lastly, it's private, it's confidential. It's not an open court. Your mediation sessions aren't live streamed. No, 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 honey, it's private. So that those are the main reasons. And come on, you cannot, I cannot underestimate the value. I that said that wrong. I cannot overestimate the value of privacy. Um, divorce is hard and you were at your worst. And the less people who see that, that's good. If you need to, if you end up losing your ish. You don't need to do that in a courtroom. You can do that in a breakout room all by yourself you can, and then pull yourself together and get going again. All right, so recap. Five reasons why people hire mediators. Speed, it's cost effective, it's amicable, you stay in control and it is private. Please consider that. If this is a situation you're going through or if someone, that you, someone you know and you love is faced with a divorce, there are other options besides lowering up. So if somebody does not need to lawyer up, consider mediation. Please send me a DM. I'd love to chat. Have a great day. Bye.